Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you the technique that helped me save my drone and get all of this sand out of my rotors just after I crashed it into a dune in Chile last month. I was flying around 4000 meters above sea level when it started behaving erratically and not support the wind too well. It wouldn't land anywhere so I used the emergency land on top of a big bush but unfortunately as you can see here the wind picked it up and pushed it into some sand which led to three out of the four rotors not turning anymore and led to this horrible sound. When I was back home I saw little particles blocking the spaces between all the elements of the electromagnetic rotors and I tried everything I saw online which included blowing out the particles with canned air which did make it better but nowhere close to being ready to fly with still a lot of grinding within the rotor. Secondly, uh, I tried dipping each rotor into isopropyl alcohol, which also helped a little bit, but still not enough. You can see here a few sand particles in the little cup that also came out. Lastly, I found some old interdental brushes that are usually used to clean braces, but also electrical parts like headphone jacks and phone speakers. And manually pushing out the little particles worked wonders, even though it was tedious and time consuming. After around 20 minutes per rotor, I ran out of brushes, but the progress was promising. So I went to the store and bought some higher quality ones and finally managed to get all of my rotors completely sand free and smoothly rotating. Of course, I had to test if it worked. So I started the drone up without propellers on. And as you can see, it worked pretty well. For the final test, I put the propellers back on and took off to see if any error message would pop up. After confirming that the rotors were properly mounted, my little drone took off without any complaints and I've been flying ever since. So if you're as dumb as I am and got your rotors stuck, I strongly suggest you try the brush technique before switching out parts of the drone, which is more pricey and requires soldering skills. If anything had failed, these would have been my options. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, good luck and remember fly responsibly.